I'm back. I'm making, making a return visit to the Bloomfield Cemetery here in uh, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Uh, we'll talk with old friends and hopefully maybe make some new friends. So let's go. I thought this was a little unusual. It's the Dodd family, which is very prominent in here. Um, we've got George Dodd. And then on this side, we've got Mary Dodd, 18, probably 32 to 1905. And then, if you go inside, I don't know if you can see, Joseph, son of George and Mary Dodd. I pointed this out in the last uh, time I was here, but this is what is known as a vault. And coffins were stored here until they could be buried. Like over the winter, the ground was frozen because <laughs> back in the Victorian age, they, we, we really had winters here where we'd get a couple feet of snow, not like uh, the dusting that we get today. Thanks, climate change. Um, anyway. So it was recently restored, so that's why it looks new. Um, but I don't know, I always thought it's kind of cool. All right, we're coming on to the crypt for Gardner. Last time we were here, we had a nice little conversation. So I thought, well, let's see. Do they want to talk again today? Hi, my name is Liz. Uh, I was here once before and you were so kind as to say hello to me. So I thought I would try again to come over here and say hello to you. Is there any member of the Gardner family that would like to step forward and say hello? As always, I'm not here to uh, harm you or make you go away. I'm just here to, just, just to say hello and uh, let people know that you're here. Idiot. Idiot. Okay. Is that you referring to me? I'm sorry. Last time I was here, you were very kind. Um, if you want me to go... Just say so and I'll leave. Hospital. Hospital. Uh, were you sick in a hospital? I'm very sorry about that. Which member of the Gardner family is here with us? Can you tell me your first name? I come and go. Oh, you come and go? Okay. That's cool. Son. Son. Are you the son of the are you the son of the Gardner family? Okay. Hello. Can you tell me your first name? Why did you come? I came I came all the way here just to say hello to you. I come here and, and with total respect.
far away. Far away? Are you far away? Did you die in a hospital? Were you sick and passed away in a hospital? Invisible. Yes, you are invisible. But I can hear you. Now with this camera, I can see you. Are you standing next to the gate here? I can see you. Can you say hi? All right. Now I put the camera away so I can't see you anymore. But I can still hear you. Hi. Are you a member of the Gardner family? Were you the son I was just speaking with? And possibly may have seen? I'll say my name. My name is Liz, just in case you didn't catch it the first time. And I come in peace and love. Did you die in a hospital? I said they were the son of, of the Gardner family. Can, can you tell me your first name? Period. I got hospital. Did you did you die in a hospital? The U.S. Are you sick or accident? All right, we'll move on. All right, I'm going to go now. Can you say goodbye? Goodbye. I'm going to leave now. I'll come back. <coughs> I'll come back again. Present. All right. 
Well, I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for talking with me. Thank you, God. And I'll come back again soon. Okay? <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Now, last time we were here, we talked with uh, Ralph Baldwin. So I thought I would come back over and see if Ralph wants to talk to us again. Hi, Ralph. So, Ralph, are you here? You talked with us last time, which was really awesome. So I'm hoping you might be willing to come and talk to us again. Ralph, are you here? I remember. You remember, yes. Thank you. You were so nice to talk to us. I thought I'd come back over and, and talk with you again. A lot of people were happy to hear from you. So I thought I'd come over here again and ask, uh, do you have a message for the living? I remember you said you like beer. I forgot to bring you a beer. I'll have to do that. I promise, next time I come, I'll bring you a beer. What is the date? Today is July 19th, 2024. Hannah. Hannah. Who's Hannah? Is Hannah your wife? Or maybe your daughter? Angry. Why are you angry? Is there anything I can do to make it better? Ralph, why are you angry? not here today. All right, Ralph, if you don't want to talk, that's okay. I'm not here to make you talk. I'll come back another day. And I promise I'll bring you a beer. Okay? Can you say goodbye, Ralph? Thank you. All right. Well, goodbye, Ralph. I'll come back and see you again another time. All right.
right, well, Ralph didn't want to talk today. Can't make him. So, uh, we'll go exploring a little bit here. Um, I don't know if anybody who watched <laughs> the video the last time, I, we had, they were doing, landscapers were here, the planes were out. It was really, really noisy. So today, no, what's this? Hemlock Avenue. <laughs> I like that. So I figured we'll explore some other sections of the park, of the cemetery. Well, it actually is a park. So much quieter today. Down here we've got the Schwarenberg family. We got father, mother, William. Charles and Margaret Baker I have no agenda today I'm just kind of walking around Isaac Baker 19th So 1996, here we go. 1928. Must be 1832 to 1890-something. There's Isaac's wife. 1834 to 1899. The Rutan family. John Patterson, of course, his wife Ella, my favorite girl's name. My head's down. Kind of art deco, art nouveau. Probably was the style at the times. My nice headstone, I like that. I have to say, they do a good job of maintaining the cemetery. Here you can 
see. Father and mother, watching with that baby. HD. One of these were all children that died very young. Johan Reppin. Hello, Johan. Okay, we won't go there with that name. Polo family. Uh, we're a little bit farther back now. Gilson's here. David Haviland, born January 10th, 1888, I think it says. He died at the Battle of, of the Argonne, November 10th, 1918. Must be the First World War. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your service. We won. Hoffman family. Our members of the Dodd family. Here, right under a nice tree. Uh, William R. Bro Broughton. Here in Bloomfield, there's uh, an avenue named Broughton Avenue. So I'm wondering if it's named after Dr. Broughton. members of the Dodd family. tombstone and then sitting on the back I sit here and talk to the Maxfield hey, it's a place you can sit down and they're in the shade Maxfield, 
Oh, I see. Lawrence, John Lawrence and his wife was Jane Maxfield. So they probably put, buried them near the Maxwell, Maxfield family. I picked the Maxfield family because simply because it's sitting in the shade. So, thought I would try over here. Hi, my name is Liz and I come in peace and love. I'm not here to heart you or make you go away. I'm just here to tell your stories. So just basically just say hello. Is there anyone from the Maxfield family who would like to step forward and just say hello? Jim. Jim. Oh, you must be Jim Maxfield. Hello, Jim. My name is Liz. Welcome. Saying I'm just here to say hello. Um, do you have any message for the living? Anything you like to tell people who are who are still alive and watching? <sighs> Said poor. By the looks of this crypt here, I, th I don't think you were, the Maxfield family was poor. But what do you want to tell the living who are still here? Shine. Shine, yes. Shine is good. You must all shine. Did you have a good life? That's mine. That's yours, yes. That's your phrase. We'll make sure you get the credit for it, Jim. Did you shine in life? There's two. There's two of you here today. Okay. More the merrier. He won't leave. Who won't leave? Me? I'm only going to stay for a few minutes and then I'll go. Talk to me. Okay. Well, I just, I'm, I'm here really just to say hello and find out about your life. And if you have any messages for the living, we said shine, which is great. Did you have a good life? This might be easier to talk. So do you have any message for the living? Jim Maxfield? What do you want to tell the living? Just live. Just live? Family picked out a good spot. It's in the shade. It's kind of off, so it's kind of quiet over here. This is a good spot. I come. Oh, fine. Do you like your final resting place? 
I... Do you like living? Do you like your? Do you like where? Do you like where your your final rest? Is? No matter how people, people, human. What, what, what do you think? I like the to you so I like the fact that you tell the people to shine. That's a good that's a good word. You gotta shine in life. <laughs> Alright, well I don't wanna bother you. I'm gonna leave now. Can you say goodbye? Can you tell the people goodbye? Adam Metz. Born 1840, died 1890. Mr. Metz, my name is Liz. I come in peace and love, and I'm not here to hurt you or make you go away. I'm just here to say hello. I can hear you with this square thing that I'm holding. Would you like to step forward and say hello? You can just use your energy and just talk. It it won't hurt you. Anybody from the Mets family like to step forward and say, Why is she here? Thank <laughs> you. I'm sorry. I just came by to say hello. That's all. I'm not here to bother you. I know you're resting. I just came to say hello. Just want to know, did you have a good life? Um, is there a message you have for the living? Max failed family said to shine, which is a great. Uh, uh, great, uh, great advice. Do you have any advice for the living? Believe. Believe. Great. Great advice. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Well, I won't disturb you anymore. Thank you so much for talking with me. Um, I'll come back again one day. Hope if that's okay with you. Why is he here? <laughs> I'm leaving now. So anyway, so so goodbye. And thank you for talking with me. I appreciate it very much.
chitterling family. The herring family, Albert, Helen, and their daughter, Helen. Ooh, Helen. Oh, poor little thing. Helen Jeffers, their daughter, born December 11th, 1889, died January 27th, 1891. Oh, poor thing. I always hate to see that. Poor thing. So quiet, I love it. Thomas and Hannah Johnson. I'm kind of, kind of making my way back to the entrance now. Oh, I always see. Charles Lockwood, Jenny, his wife, the children, Joseph and Charles. And unfortunately they had a baby Roland, who died in infancy. That's always so tragic to hear. Members of the Ward family. Yet more members of the Ward family. Thomas Purdy. Grand Army of the Republic. Veteran. Oh, well, maybe he died from that. Not sure what that means. Hey, 
1900. Did he die in the Revolutionary War? Thank you for your service, Thomas Purdy.